November wind pierce the skin Forget familiar senses The empty lungs Blurry eyes Idle on the south side Isolated from thy heart It can see your liberty I take a lot of personal experiences. Um, one thing I find really uh, useful for lyrical content is um, talking about or describing a story that maybe you've heard in a book or like watched a movie of. If I find a story really thought provoking or or something that made me like change the way I think in like life, I guess, then I take that thought and um, and make a song out of it. So there's a couple songs. Um, that I've written that are like basically just retelling a story in my own words. Oh, oh, so I'm writing music oh, so for the, the feeling it gives me, for the feeling it gives other people, oh, um, not for so any other reason besides that. Oh, it's so Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, just do it on the sax. Yeah. Um, what's you want to do that? Yeah, let's do it like as if you were singing this time. You don't have to sing if you don't want to, but yeah. Um, so the way I write songs in my group, uh, Bears and Hazenmore, we uh, I come up with a riff or or something on the piano or a guitar lick that uh, that I really really like or, or a chord progression. And then uh, I'll take it and play it enough times that I can start to get it in my head and start actually enjoying it. Because um, if you if you don't enjoy the lick yourself, then you can't really play it. So then I take that and I turn it into a song by adding structure to it. I find if you if you do the whole verse chorus verse chorus um, repetition in all of your songs, you start becoming really predictable. Um, so I really get heavily involved in how I'm going to structure my song, and then uh, from there I add lyrical content, usually something I've written um, outside of the musical content, and then trying to fit it in. All right, so uh, we're heading to Saskatoon for the weekend. Yeah start recording our uh, debut EP with Bears and Hazenmore. Start bright and early tomorrow morning. I get to meet Jordan as he's our producer for this project and hopefully we have a good connection with him. Yeah, I think I'm you rocking like that. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> It's a new thing, like, we haven't had much uh, gigging opportunities, so we're kind of going straight to recording before before really getting heavy, heavy into that, so it's, um, it's a different thing. And a lot of the rehearsals and, and the songwriting sessions were always like, and there'll be this here, or, and, and there'll be this part, and, and, you know, imagine what that'll sound like, and we always sort of work around it, but, but now we're hearing all of it come together, and it's, it's uh, very different. Basically, Brady's music just happens in his head, and we have to trust his. Not that not that it's a stretch, but we trust his vision, and we know what what he wants to hear is is good. And then um, we do our best to to add our own flair to that, uh, where where it's appropriate, and, and make the sounds happen in a way that is true to what he wants. I've been playing music since I was a child. Uh, I took piano lessons as a child, 
but uh, never really uh, enjoyed it until I started playing music uh, on at my own pace, doing what I wanted. I've been writing songs since, uh, I guess I started in grade 10, so well, 15, 16 years old. Uh, the first ones I did were very bad and I didn't show anyone. Um, but over the years I've sort of perfected what I want from a song and, and sort of a, the process of, of how I write songs. It's good. Uh, it's long and tedious, but that's what I expected it to be. So, no, and it's, it's good hanging out with these guys. Got a real community feel. Yeah. They're helping out. Hey, who did that? Not cool. <laughs> it's fun because you're, you're sort of like building a song the way that you can't um, any other way unless I like invited 20 people to come and to like a rehearsal of ours and organize that. As far as musical influences go, I draw a lot from, I, I try to copy sounds that say a group like Bonnie Vare or Explosions of Sky gets, um, where it's this really powerful um, tone that, that they get through guitars. I'm really influenced from my background in in jazz and, and classical music. I try to take the timbres that those instruments give and uh, and fit them into my music. That felt really good. Sorry. I, uh, I sort of thought the first was going so the recording experience was really cool, uh, getting to go through the process of, of recording a song and, or I guess three songs and, um, and learning about recording and, and how Jordan works and stuff was really cool. Uh, we got to do a whole bunch of work with um, changing songs on the spot and adding new things and it was, it was a lot of fun. It's exactly what I want to do with my life. Once we get this, then we can start do, looking at tours and playing shows locally or in uh, in other cities around the province too. So it's a it's a really exciting time. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting my recordings out there. Thank <laughs> you.